Turkana County University Student Association, commonly abbreviated as TUKOSA, is a body in Turkana County that brings together all college and university students studying in Turkana County and in the rest of Kenya, and also those who are not originally from Turkana County but are Turkanas. So that is TUKOSA. TUKOSA was formed in 1984 as TUDUSA, Turkana District University Students Association. I am the current and outgoing president of TUKOSA and I have a team of other TUKOSA management committee members who were elected with me in December 2014 and our term is coming to expiry this December 2016. Now I wish to narrate to you what TUKOSA has been able to do for the last two years I was in office as the president of the association. First of all when we came into office the amount of money required by the association for a comrade to be registered as a bona fide member was 500 Kenya shillings for membership fee and another 500 as membership renewal fee. When I came into office and after listening to the concerns raised by comrades, I reduced that amount of money with the rest of my Tukusa management committee officials to a mere 300, which is affordable for any Turkana student. So that is the first achievement we made when we came into office. Secondly, Tukusa had a patron who was inclined to a political uh, party in Kenya and who has or had political aspirations. So as Tukusa, we wanted to maintain the highest attainable degree of political neutrality and we appointed a man of God, an academic, a professor of education at the University of Nairobi School of Education, Professor Paul Ejore Ekeno, to be the new patron of Tukusa. That was the second achievement we made as Tukusa. Thirdly, we drafted a new constitution for Tukusa. Initially, the Tukusa constitution was in Tatas. Page 1 is uh, in Lodwa, page 10 is with the chairperson, page 9 is I don't know where, and this is a document which is governing the association, which is legally registered. So we drafted that constitution, subjected it to a public participation exercise, and members of Tukusa approved that new Tukusa constitution. So we have a new Tukusa constitution. And then we took advantage of technology to try to create a website for Tukusa, and currently, we have a Tukusa website, www.tukusa.co.ke. That is our website as an association. Inside the same website, we've incorporated an online database for members to register, where you just register and be a member of Tukusa and be included in the Tukusa database from the comfort of your bed, from the comfort of your phone or your iPad or your tablet. That is another achievement we made as Tukusa in trying to complement the already existing hard copy database we made as an association. And then we lost a comrade uh, who was studying at the University of Nairobi uh, and he was killed by a speeding motorist as first year student who was reporting for his second semester. And I led a team of Tukusa comrades in giving that comrade a great send-off and my organizing secretary Buana Tony Lokinilo Maniko and our assistant secretary general Buana Atok Nicholas accompanied me together with a team of over 20 comrades to a place called uh, uh, Ngimure in Kerio for the final send-off of our departed comrade. That is a leadership which comes together and mourns with comrades and does the best we can do in the circumstance and serve our comrades. That is called leadership. Um, Eldoret hosts a huge number of Tukana students. And in the year 2014, 2015, and even currently, there were cases of indiscipline reported to me as the chair of Tukusa and to my board and to the patron uh, regarding members of Tukusa who came to Eldoret to study but have resorted to other 
uh, things in Eldoret. And unfortunately, we lost a female comrade in Eldoret who was murdered in, in cold blood by, um, by the people there. And what we did as Tukuza, we mobilized a team of professional ladies, specifically uh, um, a lady-led organization called HMAITO, which does youth and women empowerment work in Turkana County. We took Madame Pauline Lokuruka, the first Turkana lady to set feet in a university, and members of HMAITO organization to try to go and mentor the ladies in Eldoret. And we had a successful day as Tukuza and as the chapter position in Eldoret in trying to mentor our young ladies to behave and to understand that they are in Eldoret for a reason which is to study and for a season which is two years for diplomas and four years for degree holders and uh, maybe more years for other courses. Now, for the time Tukusa and Tudusa existed, all meetings were usually done in Nairobi, Eldoret, Kisumu, and many other places. There were no meetings which were being done in Lodwa, which is the host county. So what I did as uh, Tukusa chair and my board when we came into office, we decided to have a grand summit of all Tukana University students in Lodwa. And we had that on 4th of July 2015 at KMTC Lodwa. And we invited friends from the United States, an NGO called Global Green Grants Fund, which helped us in developing a documentary for Tukusa, which was played during the United Nations Climate Change Conference in Paris, to indicate the youth empowerment that young people do across the world, and which should be emulated by others in other parts of the world. Um, there was the issue of a Capedo boundary case, where I was invited by Turkana Professionals Association, TPA, and specifically Dr. Ekuru Aukot, and uh, Madam uh, Mary Kanyaman, who is uh, the CEC Health in Samburu County Government. And we went to Capedo on a fact-finding mission to try to bring an end to the debate which was revolving around Capedo. Capedo is in Baringo County, Capedo is in Tukana County, and vice versa. So we went there and addressed a huge public gathering in Capedo, and we wrote a report and submitted to the relevant government agencies in Kenya. And it was confirmed that Capedo is indeed legally, administratively, politically and otherwise located deep inside Turkana County. That was an achievement which Tukusa did. There was the issue of conservancy in Turkana South, where Talo Oil and other private entities like Northern uh, Rangeland Trust, NRT, colluded to try to bring the issue of conservancy in Turkana South and in Turkana County by extension without involving the community the elected representatives and other stakeholders. We as Tukuza, we decided to bring sanity to the whole process. We wrote a protest letter as Tukuza to the Ministry of Lands of the Republic of Kenya, to the National Land Commission, which is an independent commission, and to Talo Oil, complaining why the conservancy issue in Turkana County is being done and shrouded in secrecy. And I was invited by the County Assembly of Turkana on behalf of Tukusa to address the committee of the whole house of the County Assembly of Turkana on why, as Tukusa, we are opposed to the idea of establishment of conservancy irregularly in Turkana South. And I am so proud to have been the first student leader in the Republic of Kenya to have ever been invited by a lawmaking body a legislative assembly to address them on a matter affecting the larger populace in Tukana County. There was the issue of students deferring semesters because of school fees challenges. I have been doing so many fundraisers on WhatsApp, on Facebook and other social media sites trying to raise funds for students who sometimes are evicted out of exam rooms because of they owe the school, school fees are as little as 3,000, 5,000, 7,000. That we did as a Tukusa management board, trying to convince and talk to our friends of Goodwill to fundraise for our students. And we raised millions of money. One student we raised 50,000, another one we raised 130,000, 
another one we raised 50,000 and so on and so on. That is what we did as Tukusa in trying to resolve the issue which was bedeviling and curtailing the dreams of university students from Turkana, you know, in scaling the heights of education. And one instant uh, where we organized a real fundraiser was in Thika, in partnership with a group called Turkana Association of Thika Students, TATS in Thika. And we had a fundraiser where we collected a total of 650,000 plus more to cater for school fees of our comrades. And I have been visiting comrades everywhere in the Republic of Kenya. I was in Kitui County. I was in Machakos County. I have been in Nairobi County so many times. I have been in Thika. I have been in Nakuru. I have been in Ivasha. I have been in Eldoret, which hosts a multitude of uh, uh, Tukana students. I have been in Egerton University, Moy University, Mount Kenya University, Great Tata University. Name them. I have been to all those universities with, with my other Tukosa management committee members trying to directly talk to our comrades and get from them what exactly they feel should be rectified in the school fees problem in Tukana County and how we as Tukusa can do a great role in trying to bring sanity in the whole process. And the issue of um, uh, Tukusa being an advocate of human rights in Tukana County, we decided to divide our work into three giving back to the local community in Trukana County. Number two, trying to advocate for student welfare and student rights, acting as a bridge between the students and the authorities, and vice versa. And trying to partner with the relevant stakeholders, like the Ministry of Education, the Diocese of Lodwa, and Trukana Professional Association, TPA, in trying to bring an end to the issues affecting Trukana students, Trukana youth, and Trukana County in general. One of the best things we did as Tukusa during my presidency was we led a process in partnership with other stakeholders like Tukana Professionals Association, TPA, and the county government of Tukana in drafting a bill which will establish a help-like scheme, a loan scheme for Tukana students, a bursary scheme for Tukana students, a scholarship scheme for bright but needy Tukana students who want to pursue higher education. And that bill is currently uh, before the County Assembly of Turkana and it will be enacted into law in the near future. And it will be the best thing to have ever happened to Turkana students, I think, since independence. Uh, the County Assembly of Turkana enacted the Turkana Youth Council Act 2015, which establishes the Turkana Youth Advisory Board. And according to that act, we were required as Tukusa to nominate one Tukusa member to represent our interest in that particular Youth Advisory Board. I, as the chair of Tukusa, nominated one Mr. Lokoma Didimas, a student of biochemistry at Kenyatta University, to represent Tukusa in the board. And his job is simply to articulate the issues affecting uh, Tukusa to, to, to our comrades. There is uh, the issue, the big issue, which is affecting Tukana County and most people, including the press, are ignoring. And that is the issue of the destruction of Lake Trukana by the Ethiopian government, which is constructing the Gibe dams along the River Omo in Ethiopia. And River Omo is a shared river between Kenya and Ethiopia. It comes from Ethiopian highlands, drains into Lake Trukana across the border. And as Tukuza, we took cognizance of the fact that we can be a voice of our community. Mother Teresa said, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. And we decided as Tukosa to do a petition and submit it to the National Assembly of the Republic of Kenya, trying to voice out concerns on why the Kenyan government, which instead of fighting for the conservation of Electricana, went ahead to sign agreement with the Ethiopian government to buy electricity, which results from our water being blocked. That we did as Tukusa, we did our part, which is to submit to the authorities what exactly we think is wrong with our system. And uh, we as Tukusa, we've been doing school mentorship programs. One, uh, our Vice Chair, Damaris Lokoroi, and our Assistant Secretary General, Mr. Tok Nicholas, organized a youth empowerment forum, a school mentorship program in St. Leo's uh, Boys High School, 
in Kakuma, Lokore boys. And it was a very beautiful day. They took uh, alumni of that school, who went to the, uh, the school and talked to the staff and the students in particular about career choice, empowerment, the role of students in community development, and many, many, many more. The same we did in uh, uh, a school called Moy High School, Kalokol, where our Assistant Secretary General, Mr. Tokyo Nicholas, organized the same, and we supported, and it was a very beautiful day. I have been doing the same in my uh, in the only secondary school in my village where I come from, in Kerio, uh, a secondary school called Kerio Boys Secondary School. And it is so beautiful talking to young people about career choice and many other relevant topics. And as to Kosa, we believe that the future of this county called Turkana, the future of this country called Kenya, and the future of this continent called Africa lies right in the hands of young people. Young people hold the future of this planet in their hands. So we want to change the manner in which student leadership is being done in Tukana County. We want to be a group which advocates for the rights of our people. We want to be a group which fights for the interest of our people in Tukana County, who took us to school proudly, and most importantly, are looking up to us with hope. That is the philosophy we wanted to bring into Tukusa as the new Tukusa management. And many, many, many more we did. And special thanks to our very able patron, uh, Mr. Uh, Paul Ejore Keno, my other Tukusa officials, Mr. Tony Lokinilo Maniko, who is currently a student at Kalamazoo in Chicago, and our Vice Chair, my Ebo Vice Chair Damaris Lokoroi, who is currently in Tukana County, and our Assistant Organizing Secretary Buana Ebongon Lomangin Lomaniko, and our Finance Secretary Ms. Priska Akale. And I want to uh, pay glowing tribute to all of them for the good work they did for the last two years we've been in Tukusa. And I want to thank the Tukusa comrades for giving me an opportunity to practice leadership and be a better person. Comrades, power. Comrades, rear. Tuko pamoja.